Up next, we have Pluck. This trio of musicians makes its living by taking the venerable world of classical music and turning it into a joke, adorned by the notion that the great composers of long ago might be turning in their graves. Pluck has taken classical music well to another level. Here's what we mean. come about mm. uh, about 10 years ago and it came about because they were busking in an area of London called Covent Garden where there's loads of street ah. musicians and they realized that the more silly they were and the more ridiculous their act the more money they got the more money people put in their uh, cases right. and so it got more and more ridiculous and they got a director on board and then they started touring first in the UK and then comedy yeah. festivals like the Edinburgh Festival and now it's it's an international touring show. Uh -huh. So it's kind of evolved by itself, I mean, the group. So what is your aim of the group, you would say, to create music with a humorous touch or to, as some people call it, destroy music? <laughs> well, our aim isn't to destroy it. Um, uh, we, I mean, I think it's just to give it a sort of a, a nice, light-hearted, funny element to it. I mean, we, we both, we, all of us, all three of us really enjoy playing music and we, we take it seriously, what we do, but at the same time we like to give it a nice, light-hearted, fun, and have, let the audience have a good time as well. And, and see that music is a really enjoyable fun mm -hmm. thing and not too serious. Do you think people take classical music too seriously? Mm -hmm. uh, not necessarily. <laughs> I think the composers that wrote the classical music uh, weren't very serious people at all and they, there's humour in all sorts of music. Like Mozart, the great composer, was really like a humorist and his music's full of, of fun and comedy. So mm -hmm. I think it's not a case of classical music being totally serious mm -hmm. and everything else being... Yeah. I, I don't think that... that people should make that distinction really. I guess just over time it's kind of become that way to some extent maybe because of where it's played and how it's played and everyone playing it seems to be so prim and proper yeah, and serious you know yeah. I mean were you guys <laughs> classical musicians before this show did you well yeah when we but we both trained um, as classical musicians so I think it can it can have that element to it but I mean that's really down to personalities mm. as well as a lot of great personalities. that's where a lot of the comedy in the show comes from as well we try and take <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah make yeah. fun of those and proper classical music. So when you do this on stage, I mean, um, you, obviously it's sort of, uh, uh, you know, planned out in a way, but mm. do you take it, you know, offline as well? I mean, do you improvise uh, yourself on stage as well? With the um, we, t we tend not to improvise too much. I mean, uh, it's all very sort of formulated and we, mm. we rehearse it very, you know, quite a lot. And um, I mean, there obviously things can sometimes surprise you and things can go wrong or mm. I don't know um, you know we do we do interact with the audience as well so that can bring up mm. certain things which is which is quite fun it gives it a nice element we're happy you know we, we're happy to play along with things yeah. if, if things go a little every bit show around. is different in some yeah, way it is and yeah. usually if something goes completely wrong no one knows the audience just think it's part of the mayhem <laughs> exactly. part of the <laughs> that's the magic yeah, of doing a yeah. show where it's a musical mayhem so to speak exactly. right yeah, yeah. Does it give you a sense of freedom? I mean, being classically, uh, uh, musically trained, that is classic musically trained, but now doing this and then having this rapport with the audience, not knowing where this might, you know, uh, take you to and how the audience will react to it, does it give you a sense of freedom as a musician? Yeah, I think it does. Hmm. I think it does. It's really nice. One of the things that we do is we play all of our things from memory. Hmm. And we've done the show so many times, it's really nice to be able to... Your brain can be somewhere else. You can be interacting and you can be interacting with the other cast members and with the audience. You don't have to be reading the music and thinking about exactly what's coming up mm -hmm. next. So that's, that's definitely a sense of freedom, yeah. Mm -hmm. Time for a break, but when we come back... The spotlight falls on new French movie Beautiful Lines. What does our film critic think? Stick around and you'll find out. You know I think.